this Wednesday we celebrate the 25th anniversary of a law which I played a role in passing. It banned smoking on airplanes 25 years ago. When you say to young people today, you know they used to have smoking and non-smoking sections on airplanes, they laugh out loud. They know, we all know, it's impossible. When you're in a confined space, when someone smokes, you're going to breathe in some of the smoke. And as a consequence, you may endanger your health. 25 years ago, we banned smoking on airplanes, and it changed America. I didn't know at the time what an impact it would have. But people said, if it's not safe on an airplane, why is it safe on a train, or a bus, or an office, or a hospital, or a restaurant, or a tavern? America is much different today, and much healthier. Lives have been saved because we did the right thing on a bipartisan basis. Now let's focus on other public health issues that will save lives. E-cigarettes, they've doubled. Kids are using e-cigarettes uh, in, in a number we never imagined before. It's an addiction to nicotine and a dangerous habit. We need to curtail the marketing and sales to children. Secondly, smokeless tobacco, the so-called spit tobacco, continues to grow in usage among young teenage boys. It's got to stop. It causes cancer and other serious health problems. So let's work together. Let's find the next important public policy legislation that we can all get behind to make America safer and healthier.